In the previous episode of Drupal 8 theming, we added the main navigation to our site. And we added it to the header, but we made a new region for it called main navigation region and we put this uh, menu right here. So the problem right now is if we go to movies, as you can see, we don't have a header right here. So there are two ways we can fix this. One is a little bit better than the other. And I'm going to show you how right now. If we open up our developer tools right now and check out to see the page that actually the template that this page is displayed on, we can see that it's calling themes, custom and daemon templates layout page.html.wig. And also we actually have a header right here but uh, everything on our header is white so we can see it on the page but if we check out this uh, right here we can see that we have a header and then we have let me just open this branding we have a logo right here and our logo so it is here but it's not styled correctly uh, it isn't the same header as we have on the front page so let's fix that. One of the ways we can fix that, of course, is if we go to Endymion, Templates, Layout, and then open up page.html.twig, rename this to container, like it's on our uh, front page, so we have a container here, not layout container, and then we can delete this header that this page is calling, and our header is above this container so we can just copy this one out and paste it right here okay save it when we refresh the page we should get a header right here so that's okay that's one way that you can do this but let's say that <clears throat> during the course of the development of this theme uh, you wanna make some changes to the header then you would have to go to page front and do some changes right here and then you would have to go to page.html.wig and do some changes here and you would probably have uh, some templates for your nodes so you would, ha you would have to change the header there also and so on so you would have to change the header on at least two places and that's in my opinion one place too much so right now we are going to learn how to make your template or your theme a little bit more flexible. First of all, let's go to our page dash dash front dot html dot twig and let's just cut this out of here. Okay, and then we are going to create a new file and I'm going to just paste that in. So I'm just going to paste this code into that file and save it. And I'm going to save it into themes, custom and Demian, and I'm going to uh, create a new folder called partials. So we are going to have our partials in that folder. Partials are uh, small blocks of code that you can reuse on your pages. So let's do this. Partials create. And then we are going to call this file header dot html dot twig and save it okay so now we have this partials for folder right here so it's here we have a header in it and next thing we have to do of course if we save this now nothing will happen actually we, will, we are going to lose our header not on this page because we edited the front page so if we go to home we don't have a header right here so to call that header we would do this so remember what I said when doing some logic on your Drupal theme you have to do curly braces percentage and then we would do include include directory directory and then we do tilde and we would just write partials and then header 
.html.twig okay that should be it and then we save it refresh the page and as you can see we have our header right here so let's do the same thing for this uh, this page.html.twig so we just copy this one out and instead of this header right here we just paste in this code so if we save it and go to movies you will see that we have a header on our movies page also on our about page and on our contact page so they're all calling the same template so we have a header right here and now if we wanna let's say uh, remove uh, the navigation from our header we would just uh, go to header.html.twig and remove navigation refresh the page and now we don't have navigation right here and that's that is going to uh, propagate all over the site okay I'm going to put the navigation back in so we can navigate the site refresh the page so we could go to home page of course also you can do this with footer uh, you can even do it with this sidebar right here and so on so that's the way you include files uh, actually pieces of code into your templates so that you don't have to uh, so that you can easily reuse them so that you don't have to change them on every page you add that piece of code okay so that's it for this quick tutorial uh, I hope uh, this video helped you thank you for watching of course you know the deal if you like this video please like it uh, subscribe subscribe to my channel also you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook I will keep you up to date with my videos and stuff I find on the internet thanks for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one